What's up, guys? I'm live at a fishing exercise, Austin, Texas, getting a quick workout in on a Sunday. What I've got set up is a leg press on the ARX, followed by a set of box jumps, followed again by, uh, we can call this a, uh, a resting set of weighted chins. Okay, so I'm doing uh, I'm doing contrast work on my wheels. So we have a uh, you know a high uh, grinded out strength exercise with a leg press, followed by a very very ballistic movement in the box jumps. Hopefully it'll be a ballistic at this point. I've had to lower this box set to set to set because my legs are freaking tired. Um, you know maybe box jumps at this point isn't the smartest thing in the world. But hey, I'm not the you know sharpest tool in the shed. So I've lowered the box a little, a little bit to keep from face planting. Hopefully I won't face plan on Facebook Live. We'll see. Um, also, at the end of this leg press, I'd like to talk about drop-off, because if I get questions, and I do get a lot of questions on my Theory to Practice blog, drop-offs is kind of uh, one of those things that um, it's hard to grasp for a lot of people. And it is a little bit of a nebulous concept, I'll admit. Um, but what we'll do, I'll go through a set of leg presses. I'll keep my screen up, because I can measure my force output, and I have a track of my force output. We'll go back and talk about what I mean by drop-off because I will definitely drop off this set. I absolutely know I will. So what I'm gonna do is set this down. I'm gonna to try to bust through this, uh, what I think is gonna be the final set. I'm pretty sure it is, if, I, if I'm just going by what my third set output was over here. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll talk about drop off a little bit. Um, so this is the fourth set. Um, I had intended to do five. Um, that was my goal going in, but I just don't know uh, drop off wise. Um, so what will happen is if I, if I falter on this last set of leg presses, what I'll do is I'll cut it right there because then we get into beating the dead horse. That gets into recovery. That drags the recovery out too long. And what we're looking for in strength training is obviously to produce a stimulus but not just beat the hell out of the body. All right, enough stimulus to uh, cause an adaptive uh, mechanism, and that's all we need out of it. We don't need to beat, uh, we don't need to beat people up. All right, and I don't need to beat myself up. So what I'm going to do is try to set this up and see if we can capture all this. I think uh, maybe we can see the crying and moaning on the leg press over here. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to run over and get a quick set. Um, also, so what I'm doing here is contrast training, right? I think I mentioned that earlier. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But high force output over here with the leg press. Ballistic movement with the, uh, with the box jumps. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, when I get uh, back over here, we'll talk about the drop-off. Three repetitions here, if everything goes right. The machine right now is resetting to a, to a predetermined uh, pre start and stop point that I set before I start. Actually, I did not hit drop off on that one, so I'll have one more set left. That surprised me big time. Possibly because I had a pretty long rest between the two sets. Fingers crossed on the box jump. Got through those six chins, six weighted chins. 
on a trapeze bar, 45 extra pounds. Said six, what I meant was seven. Whew. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. Let's see what's the best way to do this. I guess we can set this over here. We seeing that? Maybe, maybe. What I'll do is post the picture of it on the video. Whew. Essentially, what I've got here is a measure of force output. If you see that blue, the blue trace superimposed upon a gray trace, which was my best set to date of this particular workout, which was set number two, what I can do is track my drop off between those two sets. If I look over here, I see my max was down about 6%. 1755 was my max prior. Um, looking at the chart, about 18, 1850 or so was my max um, in set number two. So I dropped off there. The intensity, which is essentially uh, power output, um, it's not true power output because we're looking at is um, of uh, looking at foot pounds of torque versus just straight up uh, foot pounds. So foot pounds of torque. So it kind of skews the relationship a little bit but essentially intensity is a measure of power output output itself I was up there output itself is just uh, force over time so all of that said those are the three measures that I look at when I'm looking for uh, when I'm looking for drop-off I can drop off to either one of those measures um, like max output let's say or I can do what I'm doing today, and I can go until I drop off on all three measures. As soon as I drop off on all three, whether that's set number three, four, um, in this case it looks like I'm going to be doing one more set, then I'll drop it off. If I don't drop off after set five, I, drop, I go ahead and cut it anyway, because that tells me that for whatever reason my intensity wasn't high enough on this, those lead-in sets. It's not that the workout was bad, it's just for whatever reason my central nervous system wasn't jacked up and ready to go. Um, but I have a distinct feeling because I could tell on those box jumps over there that I'm losing all kinds of snap out of my legs, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to drop off across the board over here. Alright people, I just wanted to talk about that. If I can attach this uh, photo of this uh, screen to the to the video that'll be cool I'll do that it'll help with the explanation I'll talk more about this over at the TTP blog uh, the theory to practice blog um, right now I'm gonna gear up for another set I'm gonna go drink myself some ID life post and get ready for that or pre and get ready for that I'll drink post after the last set um, and we'll rock and roll on this thing any questions give me a shout out Otherwise, I'll see you fine folks later. Have a wonderful Sunday. I hope you get a workout in like I did today. And I will check you later. Adios.